We're back live here on the city's north side, northeast side as we continue our coverage of this fatal school bus accident here at Amy Beverland Elementary School. As you can see, as we right as you want to walk with me, you can see that there's a number of authorities on the scene besides Metro Police. So this happened, this is a Lawrence, Lawrence Township School. Uh, it happened within the city of Indianapolis jurisdiction. So there's a number of investigators already on the scene, as you can see behind me from the flashing lights. Uh, there's a Metro Police officer, also state police on the scene in particular as you've heard from my colleague call six investigates Paris LaBelle as you know state police and they inspect school buses so that bus will be thoroughly inspected as well to see when was the last time it was checked uh, they look at the maintenance record as well there'll be a top to bottom review of this accident not only looking at the driver and the circumstances that were happening today just got a call from a source that the initial call came in at, at, at to the building or to police at 2 39 this afternoon was the initial call to authorities that something bad, something wrong had happened here at this school building. So the investigation began at that point. Uh, so there's a number of authorities here uh, that are, are looking into what happened. As you can see behind me, more parents are now coming out, picking up their children. We're going to try to talk to one, uh, to a parent, to see if they'll let us talk to them on live television. We'll see if that happens or not, and we'll see um, what they have to say. Ma'am, we're live on Channel 6. I know you're frantic. I know you're cold, and I know this is not what you want to do right now is to talk to a reporter on television. But just okay. can you give me an idea, ma'am? Uh, you, you rushed to school. What's yeah. uh, how are things going? How are you first doing? Um, I was a little scared at first. My friend called me and told me, hey, there's something going on at the school. You need to call and figure out what's going on. And so I called and they said, hey, your kid's fine. But there was an incident. And I'm glad he's here and he's fine. But it's a little hard. Yeah, you are, you're visibly shaken by what happened. Uh, when you went to the building, uh, how are things inside? I know this is a very sad day in light of what's happened here, so there's a lot of a sadness. Quiet. It's a little quiet today, and people are sad. Did you did you find your your cute little guy there where he was supposed to be, or was he someplace else no, in the building? No, he's exactly where he needed to be. Okay. Yep, he's exactly where he's supposed to be today. And I imagine that your thoughts and your prayers are with your school community. Absolutely. Uh, That's so yep, cool. Absolutely. They posted something on Facebook telling us that something happened here today. There was an accident involving a bus and that someone has died. Have they given you, as a parent, any more information? Let's get out of the way. I don't want you they, to get hurt. They just told us that there was an incident and that we just, if you could come get your kids as soon as possible, and that's what I did. Ma'am, what is your name? My name's Jody. Jody, and what is the... This is Tyson. And Tyson, what grade are you in? He's in kindergarten. He's, he's all a, shy. He's, he's in, in kindergarten, kindergarten today. Well, I understand that. My wife's a kindergarten teacher. I'm glad that he's okay. And again, our condolences to you and, and your school family. We appreciate you talking to us. Thank you. And I'm glad everyone's okay. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. As you can see, uh, family just visibly shaken as to what has happened here, and rightfully so. Uh, a really a sad day, a tragic day. Uh, the school day coming to an abrupt end after that accident here at Amy Beverland Elementary School. Candace, we'll continue to talk to parents as they make their way out of the building. Um, but obviously, you, despite the tears you saw in that parents, uh, in, the, in those parents' eyes, there you could tell that there's a lot of love in that building. They care for these children, and um, they, those kids feel safe despite what happened here today, uh, here at Amy Burrell Elementary School. Well, I'm going to toss it back to you, and hopefully, I'm going to talk to more parents. Let me see if I can talk to this parent here, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, how are you? Uh, first of all, my first well, I'm sure you're not okay, but my condolences on your school loss. Just. How did you get the call, and, and how did you, did um, you run, obviously you, stopping. you, I know. Our kiddo goes to the early learning center, so um, I just got a text. I didn't get a call, okay. so it, and it sounded like it was still a rumor to me, so. Did you make a mad dash to get here? Um, I try not to panic. <laughs> That's fine, and panic is not good. And I would imagine your thoughts are just with the school family during this sad situation. Is it, yes, is that, is that, that's yeah, we, accurate that yeah, Mrs. Exactly. Jordan yeah, yeah. is? Well, let, we're not using any names, so we know that, that an adult, an adult has, uh, was killed in the accident. Um, so, so that's accurate, but so far we're not releasing any names. Just, police haven't released a name yet. But I take it you know the person, you I may do. know the person. Can you just tell me about her, and, and my understanding is she was a great educator. Um, great educator, great leader. Um, Love the kids a lot. This is a big loss.